In this tutorial, we will show you how to wire the F103 weatherproof flow logger totalizer when switching from an MC3 weatherproof flow analyzer. Thanks to the one-to-one -one wiring transfer, the F103 can easily replace the MC3 in the field. Take careful notice of all safety and precautionary measures indicated in the manual and follow the local lockout tagout procedures before exchanging any field or power supply wiring. Disconnect the power supply of the MC3 before exchanging any other input and output wiring. Disconnect the positive DC wire from the MC3. Disconnect the negative DC or ground wire from the MC3. The power supply will be connected to the F103 as a final step of the replacement. Disconnect the positive flow meter wire from the MC3 and connect it to terminal 11 of the F103. Disconnect the negative flow meter wire from the MC3 and connect it to Terminal 10 of the F103. Connect the cable shield to Terminal 9. Set the sensor input signal of the F103 in the configuration menu 5.1. Select coil low for an 80 mV peak peak and above sensitivity. Or select coil high for a 20 mV peak peak sensitivity. Disconnect the positive pulse input wire from the MC3 and connect it to terminal 18 of the F103. Disconnect the negative pulse input wire from the MC3 and connect it to terminal 17 of the F103. Set the sensor input signal of the F103 in the configuration menu 5.1 and select the correct type of flow meter signal. Please note, install the flow meter coil input or the isolated pulse input they cannot be connected at the same time. Disconnect the positive reset pulse input wire from the MC3 and connect it to terminal 20 of the F103. Disconnect the negative reset pulse input wire from the MC3 and connect it to terminal 19 of the F103. To connect a passive, not isolated signal, connect it to terminal 12 and 13. Disconnect the positive pulse output wire from the MC3 and connect it to terminal 16 of the F103. Disconnect the negative pulse output wire from the MC3 and connect it to terminal 15 of the F103. The maximum pulse output frequency is 50 Hz. When a passive scaled pulse output with frequencies up to 500 Hz is required, connect it to terminal 3 and 4. Disconnect the positive analog output wire from the MC3 and connect it to terminal 8 of the F103. Disconnect the negative analog output wire from the MC3 and connect it to terminal 7 of the F103. The F103 analog output is isolated to suit all customer systems. The MC3 is not isolated. If the F103 analog output is required as non-isolated, connect terminal 7 to common ground. Please note, the analog output and the flow meter frequency output on the MC3 cannot be used simultaneously. This is another great advantage of the F103. Both the analog and the unscaled retransmission pulse outputs can be used together. Disconnect the amp and square frequency output wire from the MC3 and connect it to terminal 6 of the F103. Disconnect the ground wire from the MC3 and connect it to Terminal 5 of the F-103. Disconnect the positive wire from the MC-3 and connect it to Terminal C-3 of the F-103. Disconnect the negative wire from the MC-3 and connect it to Terminal C-4 of the F-103. If a ground connection is required, connect it to Terminal C-1 of the F-103. Always connect the power supply to the F-103 as a final step of the replacement. Connect the negative DC or ground wire to Terminal 0 of the F-103. Connect the positive DC wire to Terminal 1 of the F-103. Congratulations! You have now exchanged an MC3WP for an F-103 weatherproof flow logger totalizer. The F-103 is designed and developed with only one focus. 
your success counts.